Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about that how to read and how to design an eye prescription card. And in this video, we will discuss all the parameters and all the expected abbreviations of the eye prescription card. As you know that the prescription card is a complete description about all refractive parameters of a patient, which is written by the ophthalmologist or the optometrist. And you know that different countries have different type of the prescription cards, which carry different type of the abbreviations. So in this video, we will discuss all the expected abbreviations which are used in our prescription cards. So let's discuss different abbreviations in a prescription card. As you can see here, this is SPH, right? So this SPH means it stands for the spherical correction of a prescription card. As you can see here in the prescription card, we have SPH, which means it stands for the spherical correction, right? And now the next one is cylinder. It's CYL. And it stands for the cylinder correction, the astigmatic correction of a patient. As you can see here, this is CYL, right? Next is the axis of the astigmatic correction or the axis of the cylinder. If you see the X in any prescription card, that it means the axis of the astigmatic correction or the cylindrical correction. Now, the next one is RE. If you see, if you experience different prescription cards in United Kingdom or USA, we see R E or R L E, right? So R E means the right eye. It stands for the right eye, right? And if we see the L E, that it means the left eye, right? And now we will discuss different abbreviations, different Latin abbreviations. So it O N S, and O N S is stand for the ocular sinister. And ocular sinister in Latin it means the left eye, right? And if you see the OD, the OD means in Latin the ocular dextrous, and it means it stand for the right eye, right? And if we see the O and U, it means the ocular uterke. If I pronunciation it properly, so it means both eyes. OU means the both eyes, right? And now we will discuss the next abbreviations. So the DV means the distance vision and NV means the near vision and IV means the intermediate vision, right? So again, we have written that if we see any VR on our prescription card, that it means visus remotum and visus remotum means the distance vision, right? And VP means the visus proximum and the visus proximum means the near vision. And if we have prescription with the prisms, then we will discuss, then we will experience the base up and the base down prisms, right? If you see the P and U, that it means the base up prism, right? And if you see the B and D, that it means base down prism. So we have discussed different abbreviations which are used in our eye prescription card. So as you know that the prescription card is a complete description about all refractive errors and all refractive parameters of a patient, which is written by a op ophthalmologist or an optometrist. And you know as well that in different countries we experience different prescription card uh, like you can say in usa in uk and in different asian countries like pakistan and india we use different uh, eye prescription cards so in this video we will discuss different abbreviations as we have discussed earlier and different prescription cards all necessary requirements for a prescri prescription cards right so first of all we have this supposed prescription card right so let's discuss so first of all we have the box for the name of the patient right so we will write the name of the patient over here and then the age the age is really really important for the eye prescription card so we'll write the uh, the real age of the patient over here and then the son of the daughter of or the wife of this box is for the guardian of the patient right and then the most important thing is date the issuance date of the prescription card right and now we have different abbreviations we have discussed earlier like spherical cylindrical axis prisms and the visual acuity right so this box is for the spherical correction right this box is for the cylindrical correction this box is for the axis of the cylindrical correction this box is for the prisms if required and 
after all this prescription like spherical cylindrical axis of the cylindrical and the prism power after all this prescription what is the exact visual acuity of the patient we will write here right so this box is for the visual acuity of the patient right and now this is OD as you know that the OD means ocular dexterous dexterous right which means the right eye of the patient and this one is ocular sinister which means the left eye of the patient right so we have supposed values of a supposed patient right so if we have minus 2 spherical which is myopic correction we will write down here because this is spherical box and if we have cylindrical correction we will write down it here which is minus 1 and axis are 90 degree and if the patient is required the you can say the prism like the supposed value is 20 prism diopter base down right so we will we will uh, as you know the orientation of the prism which is base down base up right so if the uh, prismatic value of the patient is 20 prism diopter base down we will write it like this right and after that the visual acuity is 6 by 6 same as here minus 3 is spherical correction for the left eye minus 0 0.5 is the cylindrical correction for the left eye 80 degree is the axis of the cylindrical correction and if the prism is there the 20 prism diopter base up as I told you earlier that this is just a supposed value these all values are supposed values right these are not real values so after these values after these prescribed values the visual acuity of the patient is 6 by 6 the visual acuity can be vary, right uh, it could be 6 by 60 6 by 36 6 by 24 or 6 by 12 6 by 18 6 by 9 6 by 6 right so you can write the visual acuity in this box right now and now we have the IV as you know that the IV means the intermediate vision and the NV means the near vision right so in these box we will write down the addition right as you know that the addition is always in plus spherical form right the addition could never be a cylindrical correction right it could never be in minus right I'm talking about the add the addition value right so right now and right here this addition is for the intermediate vision right if your patient want to work at a desktop distance or a table distance which is more than a near vision then the addition would be right down over here right so our addition for the near vision right is plus 2 and addition for the intermediate vision is plus 1 right and as I told you that addition is not in cylindrical form right if I can move my camera over here so the addition is not in cylindrical form right not in cylindrical form the addition is just in spherical correction or plus spherical correction right so we will write just the addition of the intermediate vision here and addition for the near vision over here and visual acuity in near vision chart is n6 which is normal right uh, and now let's discuss about some more important values which is IPD which is BVD right so IPD means the intrapupillary distance right the distance between the pupils right which is most important in dispensing optics and in optical lab right and like BVD BVD mean BVD stands for the back vertex distance I can write it for you back vertex distance so PVD means the back vertex distance in high prescriptions like uh, more than minus 6 or minus uh, you can say plus 6 or more than that or you can say minus 10 or minus 7 or minus or plus 8 the back vertex distance is 
really really important right we will discuss in in explanatory form in our next video inshallah and now remarks remarks is the important key that what you have done with your patient or what you think about your patient or what you think about the disorder of your patient or refractive error of your patient you will write your remarks over here right which is most important and then the signature of the optometrist or the ophthalmologist and the last but not the least the expiration date expiration date means that after the expiration date this prescription card would no longer be used right so that's all about the prescription card now let's discuss another prescription card this prescription card is exactly the same like the last one right but the difference is as you can see over here we have the same spherical correction cylindrical correction prism and visual acuity and same in the left eye right so in the intermediate or the intermediate vision you can write it this line as well like addition plus one dioptric sphere ds mean dioptric sphere in both eyes b for both e for eyes right and add plus two dioptric sphere right in both eyes as you know that the addition which is in intermediate form or in the near vision form this addition would add in the spherical correction of the distance vision so in the next video we will discuss more important things about the prescription cards.